See, what most people don't know is, there was a competition during the time called the Renaissance period between Leonardo da Vinci and the well-known Michelangelo. The competition was to see who could impress the king by making a new image of the king's son that would deceive the world, in which Leonardo da Vinci won the competition. The original King James Bible of 1611 had the Apocrypha in it, but in 1928, under the Vatican, they made an agreement to take 14 books out of the King James Holy Bible. Why, you might ask? Well, because thousands of years before they put his image up to be Christ, they found out that it was written in the wisdom of Solomon located in the Apocrypha, that they would do this and the reason for it. So knowing this was written in the wisdom of Solomon, the Roman Catholic Church took it out of the Bible so the people wouldn't figure out their deception. It is a noted fact that when they did this, they knew exactly what Christ's people really looked like. They knew Christ and his people were not Europeans, but instead were actually Hebrews, who were dark brown people. So let's find out in the Bible first what Satan was going to do, and then we'll find out what exactly was written in the wisdom of Solomon that the Apocrypha had to be taken out and credited as unscriptural and not divine. is the lamp of the body. If your eye is good, your entire body will be filled with light. But if your eye is of evil, you shall be filled with darkness. And if that which is in you is darkness, how great 
shall that darkness be? Beware of false prophets, those ravenous wolves who come to you dressed in sheep's clothing. You shall know them by the rotten fruit they bear. For who can pick grapes from the thorn bush or gather figs from the thistle? And just as the good tree bears only good fruit, and the bad tree bears only that which cannot be eaten, so also shall you know them by their fruit. And forget not that every tree which does not bear good fruit shall be cut down and cast into the fire.